Works, let me welcome you to today's Brunch with Eden. This is a finale, and we're doing it here in LA. I think when you have a finale, it should be a big event. So we wanted it to be explosive in terms of just surprise. So we were delighted that Jasmine could join us. She's a college student. She's always so busy just being a student in addition to lending her talents to the brand. Please excuse my absence of all the brunches that we've had across the country. I've been a little busy handling some business. It was really cool for me to come out here and actually physically be with the people so they know that there is a story and there is a person behind there picking up these concoctions. I have a great team and a family of people who cared, but to be here with the people who use my product every day, uh, it really, you know, it hits close to home. We had superstar panelists, including Felicia Leatherwood, Cassidy Blackwell, Afro Bella, better known as Patrice Yersik, and we also had Dr. Carrie Williams, who's been on this journey with us from the beginning since March when we launched this new product line, Jojoba Manoy. It really does. When you leave your hair dry and you just put a little oil on it, a lot of you will use olive oil and it's just sitting there saying, hey, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> not anything. All the women were so welcoming and just like, they had questions, they wanted answers, they were engaged and involved and I absolutely loved it. Hair. I didn't know how to take care of my own hair before I went natural. I really would just go sit in a chair and have somebody do it. Or I would try to do, I would buy that Just For Me box and I was in my dorm room using Just For Me, you know, like, and, and it was a tragedy. It was not just for you. <laughs> so it was just a beautiful turnout of women, and it was so full of love and so you know receptive to our message. And it was just a beautiful thing to be part of. Everybody wants to have healthy, strong, beautiful hair, and it doesn't matter how it is. It's just as long as you take good care of it and you love it because it's yours. As a professional who has a salon, I think it's great one that a lot of women can do their own hair because. In the beginning, with natural hair, a lot of women would shy away from it because they felt like, oh, it's not manageable, I can't do it, it's too kinky, it's too nappy, you know? And we bring all this baggage from when we were younger when someone told us that our hair was ugly, kinky, and nappy. And the so event in L.A. was wonderful. On the West Coast, especially in Hollywood, because it's Hollywood and a lot of women wear weaves and long hair and straight hair, that there isn't a vibrant natural hair community. So it was great to see all of the beautiful naturalistas come out and show out on the West Coast. But, um, you know, if you buy the most expensive, best conditioner out there, and you're not taking care of what you put inside your body, mm -hmm. that hair that grows out is not going to be healthy. So. We just had a fun time today talking about our natural hair experiences ourselves, our favorite products, our highs, our lows, our successes our challenges. So thanks again to Eden Body Works for putting this all together and I had a fantastic time. Um, I decided I, I'm going to live for me and the jobs will come. They'll come and hire Kim Coles because they want Kim Coles. I did have a casting person look at me and look at my hair and go, is this a Jill Scott thing? What are you doing? <laughs> Because we love what we do, we had a couple of extra guests join us. We were very surprised by Kim Coles and her testimony and her commitment to the natural hair community. A lot of women don't know how to carry or don't have that swag when they cut their hair. Talk, I think we're, we're saying the same thing. Is It's also a lot about confidence. You know, confidence is so sexy. So ladies, we all know that men have an opinion about our hair. They say they don't, but we secretly believe they do. And when I think about this movement, because this is a movement, I feel, mm -hmm. is I think about how we oftentimes get distracted by the noise, mm -hmm. right? The blog comments, right? The crazy YouTube video that may come out of left field, right? The, just the, all that ridiculousness. That's really the noise. You know, men don't like, that's the noise. What I ask you to do is pay attention to the signals. What are the signals? The signals is a gathering of like 200 women in a room like this. Mm -hmm. That's a strong, strong signal. A signal is a Kim Coles, right, standing up, right, and saying, look, I've got a wig on right now. <laughs> <laughs> this was really incredible, because I always talk about natural hair being a movement, and by looking at this room, looking at all the women in the room, how beautiful the women were, but more importantly, how confident and empowered the women were. So I want to direct this to the fellas right now, because guys, I think it's very important for us to, A, be more educated about natural hair. I mean, real talk, my wife has had natural hair for about a year and a half, and I know a little bit, and I'm trying to learn a little bit more, but the reason why it's so important that we learn is because when we take the time to learn about something that our loved one cares so much about, it really shows that we truly care for them, that we truly adore them, that we truly love them, and that's really what love is about. Love is about action. We wanted to do something different. We aren't the bigger brands, but we are the brand that cares. 
even beyond here, I think the biggest takeaway for the entire Brunch with Eden series is that it's really important to love yourself. But loving yourself means eating the right foods, exercising, doing things that make you feel good, and putting healthy things into your body. And then hair products are kind of the icing on the cake for looking good and feeling good. And we will see you guys in 2013. <laughs> My favorite parts of the panel discussion was when they were talking about hair color. I have my hair in a protective hairstyle, so I'm rocking a weave. And for me, like, I always introduce color via weave. So it was good to hear, like, just different ways, because, you know, when I do go back, I have options. You came here and you actually learned something. There were male perspectives, there were specialists, there were bloggers, there were... It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Today was absolutely awesome. I feel pretty much re-inspired and like I fell in love with my hair all over again. It was wonderful socializing. We got about 200 ladies out here in LA and it's just awesome. We have food, we have drinks and you guys missed it if you weren't here.